everybody. It's a Saturday morning and look where we're parked at. Just a few cows there making their way. So they look like they're having their morning exercise. So we're all going around to another thing. <laughs> following each other it's quite funny to watch actually it's a few cars it's quite funny watching them it's like they're doing their morning exercise but this way we've got Georgie parked lovely we're just at Fairlight in East Sussex and we're gonna have a cup of tea and the beach is just over that hill there and the sun shines really hot today. Um, we're going to camp out. We found a lovely place on park for the night in a place called Dimchurch, which isn't too far from here. It's absolutely beautiful here. I do like East Sussex. It's beautiful. All the hills and the coastline. Perfect. And Georgie's just over that ridge. And is Fairlight Beach and I've got to say I cannot believe how many people on it normally this is deserted I've been coming here since I was a little girl and I'm 51 now and I've never seen it this busy this is busy for Fairlight Beach believe it or not it's absolutely lovely here and it just reminds me when I used to come here with my mum and dad which is really lovely and right up the top there Fair light. The peak there is where we put our mum's ashes. So we're going to nip up there and lay some flowers for her and then go and find somewhere to camp. It's really, really hot today. It's already in the 30s. I'm glad we got here early to avoid the traffic. Um, so we're just going back, finish my cup of tea off because I left it because it was so hot. Um, and then we're going to go and lay some flowers. Just having a little paddle absolutely beautiful today about 30 degrees it was a bit hot for poor Miss Darcy in the van um, but we bought her cooling coat before anyone says why has she did she have a jumper on it's a cooling coat so you pop it in the freezer um, you run it under the water I've just put it in the sea and put it around her neck and she's had a little paddle so she's all right with Mr P it's absolutely beautiful there's a fair light up there. I'm going to go up there and lay some flowers for Mum. It's a lovely beach. What a lovely job. I've got to say, in all the years we've been coming here, we've both said we've never known it to be this hot. Usually, when we come here in April, um, which is our usual time, it's blowing a hooli and it can be cold. The sun always comes out, I've got to say, but it's normally nothing like this. This is just really different to how it normally is there's someone i've just seen someone kayaking out there how lovely and that is lovely sound of waves crashing up the beach perfect nice and cool darcy first time in the sea it's cooling you off isn't it <laughs> you don't like the wave you brave girl at 10 years old first time having a paddle <laughs> First time having a paddle? Is that good? Nice and cool. <laughs> She's a little bit unsure. But just look at this. Absolutely gorgeous. At Fairlight, Fairlight Beach. And we're going to go up the top there to put some flowers for my mum. What a beautiful day. It's like being abroad. Darcy's like, oh, that's me paddle over. I'm not going in there anymore. It called me off. Absolutely beautiful here. This is where we laid my mum's ashes, very special to our hearts. And it's always, doesn't matter what the weather is, the sun comes out. So we just pop some flowers down. I've got to say, this is probably the hottest day we've ever come here. Unbelievable. <laughs> Mum would appreciate it because she liked the heat. So peaceful. Just walking down, 
we're just walking down the hill look at that heather it's beautiful it's always so pretty here different types of flowers different time of year you come um, it's so lovely I remember two years ago now my sister actually got married in July and it was hot not as hot as this but it was hot and she actually got married just where we were near the bench and it was lovely I remember walking down here it's so beautiful here and it's so peaceful really lovely just uh, usually if it's not as hot as it is today. We sit on the bench and just sit there for a little while, but it's just too hot today. Um, so we've laid some flowers and we're just walking back to the van and we're gonna go and find a spot for the night and chill out a bit. Um, hopefully not too far from the sea so we can have another paddle and call Miss Darcy off. I can't believe we've chosen the hottest day of the year um, to come up to Fairlight. It's unbelievable this heat. Definitely a heat wave. What a strange year we've had. Um, in this 2020, can't believe it. Um, Aeroplane up in the sky, <laughs> Miss Darcy. She's got a calling um, jumper on, which is amazing. I highly recommend them get one because it's Darcy it gets so hot. It's by a company called Equifleece, and all you literally do, I keep it in the fridge or the freezer, um, and keep pouring water over it basically, and it keeps her so cool. It's incredible it's brilliant brilliant investment if you've got a poo any pooches especially in the van they're a the brilliant invention and we're just having a little wander down now there's a slight breeze coming back which is really nice so we're gonna as i say park up and i'll talk to you later and some shelter guys <laughs> we got really hot and bothered um and a bit tetchy so we've managed to find down this little country lane in Fairlight the perfect Georgie stop, pit stop for our lunch. So we've just had our lunch, par baked rolls cooked in the wonderful Omnia oven um, and uh, it's just made us feel so much better. Just sit, chill out for five minutes, look at that, perfect. And Mr P and Miss Darcy have gone for a little walk just round here, look at this. So if we hadn't have stopped here, we never would have found this. Look at that. So beautiful. So peaceful. This farmer's field. Just in fair light. So beautiful. That's our lunchtime view in our quiet location. Little footstools where Georgie's parked. Just a little lunch box. Darcy always decides she wants to have a little wander down the lane on her own. And apparently that bit of land is for sale. Maybe we should buy it, Mr. P. Build a house on it. Build a Scandinavian style log cabin and live in it. What do you reckon guys? We could just park Georgie down the way. Let's rent her out. What do you reckon? And um, we're gonna probably go back. We just found a little place in Fairlight to park the night. It looks perfect, so I'll show you that later. We might pop to the beach now to cool off again and go in the sea. It's absolutely beautiful here. This is where we laid my mum's ashes. Very special to her hearts. And it's always, doesn't matter what the weather is, the sun comes out. So we just pop some flowers down. I've got to say, this is probably the hottest day we've ever come here. Unbelievable. <laughs> Mum would appreciate it because she liked the heat. You and I just had our daily baths in the sea. <laughs> That's what you have to do in your van life. Try and walk to where you can, so we did. We both had a little, so Mr. P's wearing stones at the moment. And wait till you see where our nightly spot is tonight. It's stunning, guys. Can't wait. 
and have a lovely night overlooking the sea. Hopefully, gorgeous views, and it's perfect. Can't wait to show you later. So this is a camp for the night, and it could be very perfect. Pop, pop up. Mr. Pooh's getting Miss Darcy's bed ready because she's a bit tired. She's had a busy, busy day today. Um, so we're all ready for the night. We've had our dinner and we've got our lantern and light for this evening. Miss Darcy, as you can see, is rather cool. She's a bit tired, but uh, she's had enough. We've worked her hard today on the beach, which was beautiful. Um, it's been really hot, it's been a sculpture, but just look at this. Couldn't be any more perfect. I highly recommend this spot in Hastings. It's called Hastings Country Park and it was on part for the night. Um, Miss P found it and it's beautiful. It's cost us £2.50, which is perfect. Um, so we got here at 5 o'clock, paid us £2.50 and that's easy just through till tomorrow morning at 10 um, But if you want to stay here all day, it's £3.50 um, But I highly recommend it because it's perfect We've managed to park the van and we're going to have a wonderful evening We're just about to wash up from the dinner things and have a cup up and some Victoria sponge that I made and watch the sun go down. What more could we ask for in a weekend away? In a fantastic spot. And what a view to wake up to everybody. Look at that sunshine. It's gorgeous. On the sea. Beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Miss Darcy there having a mooch. We're going to have a little wander. Mr P say hi. And there's Georgie in the back. Had a brekkie which was lovely. View. and now we're doing a little bit of foraging we found some really delicious blackberries last night on our walk so always keep a pot in the van for a little bit of foraging free food and mr p tasted them he was the taster and he said they were really delicious Full of blackberries. Thank you very much, Hastings. And we're just coming up hill again. It's beautiful. You can see the cows in the distance. Some mothers, joggers over there. And I love this point up here. It's beautiful. We're just going to have another view of the sea. A little mooch, maybe a final cuppa before. Way home, unfortunately. But it's been so lovely here, it's gorgeous. I do like East Sussex. Look at that. Look at that for a view. Over the hill, and look, look at that sea. It is very windy here, as you can probably all hear, but it's so beautiful. It's worth it. So I just found this little trail. Miss Darcy doesn't want to come down, but Mr. P's up there, so it's fine. This is lovely. It's away from the wind a bit, which is really nice. You're a bit sheltered. That's the Coast Guard station up there. It's lovely. Look at all these blackberry bushes. It's like they're in abundance. Look at Miss Darcy up there. She won't come down. <laughs> She's waiting for Mr. P. just come down here and I just wanted to come on and say that if you're thinking about getting a camper van do it because the freedom it gives you the amount of people that say to us I've been thinking about it I don't know what to do and, you know honestly it's just incredible it just gives you so much freedom um, and I never dreamed that I would love it as much as I do it's such a lovely freeing thing to do and um, it gives you so much choice about where you want to go as well and park for the night is amazing the app because we would never have found this otherwise and i've been coming here since i was a little girl and i never knew um this was actually here so it's really lovely to find it so yeah 
have a little look on the app. Even if you haven't got a camper van, it gives you lots of ideas of places that are a little bit more remote where there aren't lots of people. Um, there was quite a few dog there, quite a few dog walkers, don't get me wrong. And we were rudely awakened at um, about quarter past six this morning, someone bibbing, I think they were trying to make a point, but never mind. Um, and yeah, you just find out so much of these. Apparently, there are wild Exmoor ponies here. That's absolutely brilliant. Um, and they manage the local coastal landscape by grazing. So, I have to go through here so I can find you to take you down here as well. Oh my goodness, I've popped Darcy on her lead, don't worry. <laughs> It's a bit hairy down here, um, but look at this view. I just wanted to show you this because it's absolutely incredible. <laughs> it's so incredible. I keep saying it, and I'm repeating myself a lot, guys, but because this is just out of this world. It's a bit hairy down down here, and me and Miss Darcy have popped her on the lead, so she's all safe, guys. But I've got to come down here, it's so rugged and beautiful. Come on, we just walked down a little bit further. You'll see some pony droppings there, um, so they're literally just roaming freely around here. I don't know whether I'm actually seeing it. Look at that. See, it looks Mediterranean. How lovely to go down there. Beautiful. So we'll have a little mooch just around the corner just to see if we can see anything. And then I think I might, we might have to make our way back because I think this will probably just go on and on and on. It's just incredible. I think I'm half expecting to turn around the corner and come face to face with a pony. <laughs> I know it wouldn't quite be like that, um, but yeah, they obviously come up this far. I don't blame them really. Oh my goodness, it's just the view, it's just breathtaking. Let's just go around this corner. Let's take you around the corner so you can have a little look at the view. And this is where I think I need to get myself my walking trainers. Um, still wearing me good old top shop ones, but I need to get myself some walking trainers definitely. So we've turned, we're going back up there because um, obviously that goes on and on and on for miles. Miss Darcy was pulling on the lead a bit. I think she just wanted to go back. She's worried about Mr. P. Um, so we're going to have a little saunter back. But I will be back and I want to walk down here and see for a bit further on Hunt of the Ponies. So we'll hold it to more ponies. How amazing. just found the perfect spot on walk home, absolutely glorious, lovely little village, there's a church service going on outside, social distancing, and look where George is parked, lovely, so we just had a lovely little picnic on this little village green, and I love it, it's perfect, so it's so nice to find these little, we've never been here before, it's on route home from um, Fairlight East Sussex, and it's a little village near Maidstone in Kent and it's a really cute little village Shame the delicatessen wasn't open because it's a Sunday but never mind, um, a little bit of my Victoria sponge left um, and we actually had the same as what we had for breakfast banana fruit and Greek yoghurt a little bit of my granola for lunch but never mind and a nice cuppa um, and we're just doing a wonderful walk this weekend